Hey guys, Shadow here, and happy 4th of July. Um, I did have a stop motion plan for this, but I didn't get to finish it. Or, I was gonna have a friend in, but... And today's Friday, so... Yeah, couldn't really get any. Anyway, instead I thought we should go over all of my Captain America pop, pop vials. Because, if you saw one of my recent ones, it was the um, unboxing for the Civil War one. So I thought this would be a good way to do for the 4th of July. So um, without further ado, let's go. Let's begin with the one that started it all, the um, original classic Captain America. Now I know they're coming out with a brand new classic Captain America, you know, the word classic, but classic by pop standards. So um, yeah, if you compare him to um, the newer ones, he's not that good, but he is a really good pop in my opinion. I still really like him, but um, yeah. His head, nothing too special, it's just a little mask. You got the little wings there. His ears poking out. And you got the back. It's a little chipped here, but he is an old one. He was the um, sixth one, I think. But um, up here, let's see if I can focus. There. This, um, this kind of looks printed on, but then it's really shiny, as you can see. But his um, shield comes off too. But as you can see, the paint isn't really that good. But, um, yeah, this is a shield, pretty good, and it's, they kept on doing this trend for a while of the clipping sh shields, but they, um, made it work. The newer, some of them have, like, ones that stick on, so, um, yeah, first Captain America. The next one we have is the, um, Captain America Winter Soldier cap. Um, he is probably one of the most detailed ones. <laughs> and... He's the most different out of all of them. Like, if you look at his color and just basically everything. Now, this is probably one of my favorites. I just love the way the costume looks. Uh, and this is... Well, actually, this isn't the second Captain America. The second one was the um, first Avengers movie. Like, the first of... The Avengers, not Age of Ultron. Of uh, that Captain America. He's the second one. He was the third, but we don't have him. Um, and there's cats surrounding me. Um, anyway, this is, this is, um, when they didn't do, like, the removable shield. Hopefully you can see it. Um, my camera would focus. Yeah, like, right here, it, this cannot come off. And it's also on his right hand, which, if you look at all the others, they're left-handed. Um, but yeah, you can see all the detail they have on them. Like, they have all that, like, um, I don't know what to call that, but... You can tell that they put a lot of work in that. And I guess this is symbolized the uh, wing of the And then on the back, he's got a little strap to put a shield on. He's got his boots, his belt, and then his star. And, uh, he's got like those gloves. Basically all the other caps have. Well, most of them. And then he's got some nice knees. Um, sculpting, I'm calling it. Um, but yeah, Winter Soldier cap. He is one of my favorites. And they also have another one. He's unmasked, but I don't. Have, we don't have that one either. But, yeah, as you can see, they're all bomb lights. The next one we have is um from Age of Ultron, and shockingly enough, from my collect from our collection, um, he I thought he was more newer, but looking back, he looks like he's one of the older ones. But um, yeah, this is when the Captain America looks really started to take form when they really started to look good. Once again, his shield isn't removable, but it's way more flexible than that one. Like, that one's, like, hard plastic. This is, like, kind of rubbery. But, um, yeah. And you can see the colors changed. Um, th there's a cat on the chair. Um, and if you compare him back to this one, look at their eyes. It's kind of different here. Like, it's more spaced out that one. Looks like his eyes are all scrunched up. But... Yeah, then with this one, you can see all the printing, like all the sculpting, and on mine, I forget, so I have two of these, but I forget if, if it all of them were like this, or is it just this one in specific that was messed up. But, um, also, unlike the first one, I forgot to mention this with the Winter Soldier one, the, um, A is, like, sculpted on it, which is really nice. And then the chin strap looks much better than the other one. And then the bottom, it's really nice um, sculpting and painting down there. Then you got like the, once again, the shield strap up here. 
Then this is when the shield took form. This is when oh, basically the rest of the caps use the same exact shield. It's this one. Colors will change, but this, they stay relatively the same. But then you can see the little pouches here, and the red on his boots in gray and brown. So, yeah. And oh, they also, he doesn't have like the wings on the side this time, but there's still some just, like sculpting in this. So, yeah, Age of Ultron cap. The next cap we have is on another Age of Ultron one. It is the unmasked Captain America, and this came with unmasked um, Iron Man. Um, same thing. Yeah, as you can see, using the same exact body, shield still very bendy plastic, but this one is much more bendy, bendable. Um, the bodies are, yeah, it's the same, just the only difference is the head, so I won't really talk about his body. And, cats are fighting. But they're bad on the here. Um, anyway. As you can see his head, this is supposed to be, um, Steve Rogers, Chris Evans, wherever you want. This did a pretty good job capturing Chris Evans. Not too good, but pretty good. <laughs> but, like, you can't really get too... Like, what can you do with... You got, like, this much... You can only do, like, the hair and eyes and eyebrows. It's really all you can do. Like this. But, yeah, nothing really to talk about. So, yeah. Let's move on to the Civil War caps. Now, this cat may be my favorite one. I don't know why, I just really like this Captain America. Um, this one in particular. Now, the shield, same thing, but it's not really bendy. It's pretty hard. Like, you can still bend it, but it won't be easy. Um, then this one, if we compare it to the Age of Ultron one, you can see, and in costumes, it has changed. Like, this one, it was more brighter, this one, in the movies it was. For some reason, this is darker and this is brighter. But if you look at that part down here, um, that, it's more thinner. Well, this one's wider. And the, um, the legs are different too. Like, this one didn't have a red thing, a line going down. Well, this one did. It does. And he's got black boots instead of brown and red boots. But besides that, um, oh, and this, the A, this one's thin, this one's wider. So, yeah, it's really the only differences between them. Oh, and that's like painted white, this is more like metallic -y. But, um, the shield, this can clip on his hand, and if you turn him around, there's like a little hole in. You can clip that into his back, if I can do this correctly. Um, oh, wow, that's, ow, ooh, I hurt my arm. Um, like earlier today, I just got blood work, so I saw a little wound in my arm, but so do okay, you guys. There we go. Um, it goes right on his back, so if you like this look better, there you go. So, yeah, Civil War cap. The next cap is the um, GameStop exclusive Civil War cap. Same thing here going on, just the only difference is he's in a more battle pose. Um, his shield does not come off, it looks like it does, but trust me, it does not. You don't want to be. But, um, yeah, he's in an action pose. I like this one. He's standing straight up. I love this one. He's bending down. I really, I really like it. If you angle it correctly, it kind of looks like he's about to throw a shield. Like, you know, you go. But, yeah, I don't really know what to say for this one. Um, well, I guess it's, he, he's in a different pose. That's it. And stop playing with the headset. The cat's playing with the headset. Okay. Got it. Um, ow, my arm again. Anyway. Um, if you look, I forgot to mention, why do I keep on forgetting to mention, um, to mention certain parts of it, but, yeah, unlike the Age of Ultron one, it's the same thing, but if you look here, um, it's silver. I feel like they were gonna add, it looks like they were gonna add that, but they didn't. But anyway, yeah, this is it. The old, this is the old, same thing, just different books. So, let's move on to one of the final pop, but it's not the final Captain America. This is the um, final Captain America pop. Once again, different body. Um, but yeah, the body is exactly the same. Same thing as all of them. So the only difference is um, he's in a different pose. And this came with a two pack. If you remember from my MCR box or um, my Marvel Collect Collector Corpse boxing, 
what I called it earlier. I don't know if I said that wrong. I, I'm not going to think about it. But um, if you remember the Mark Collector Corpse boxes, he came in with two packs of Iron Man. Which I'll show right about now. Yeah, he's in this cool pose, like, I don't know, shooting all the laser on the shield to deflect. But, yeah, this is another one of my favorites. I really like it. He's really cool. So, yeah, we have one more thing. It isn't really a pop, but it was made by Funko, who made the pops. So, yeah. Now, you guys may have already seen him in the background, but the final one is Captain America mug. Um, coffee mug. He's a really cool mug. I really like him in. You can see. Bad time to get Um. Yeah, as you can see. My arm is in. Ow. That's it. hurts so bad. Um. Yeah, as you can see. I think this was based. I think this came out uh, a couple months after Age of Ultron or a couple months before Civil War. Um, yeah, like if you look at the helmets. Pretty much the same thing. Like they don't have. Like all the sculpting stuff, like the mug. What do you can expect? Um, yeah, I really like the see from the mug. It is pretty detailed. But, yeah, you can see here where you put in your mugs. So yeah, I, Captain America is a very important character in Marvel Comics, but he does have a lot of cool pops, <laughs> and he is in one of my top ten favorite pops if I do have one. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Happy 4th of July. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.